Ding, ding, ding. Hello, everybody. It's a little past one o'clock on November 13th. I want to welcome everyone and thank you for attending the 12th Annual Membership Exhibition Gala. This is our first in-person show in two years. Please stay for the award ceremony at 2 p.m. and for the pastel demonstration to be given by Dory Dewberry at 3 o'clock. And for those that got here a little bit earlier, you got a chance to see Mike working on a, a picture over there in the front. In the meantime, we're going to be uh, enjoying the music provided by Gary, Gary Wheel. Gary is the hobby of Kathleen, our treasurer. So thank you, Gary, Yay, for coming Gary, today. Guest, we request that you sign in and make sure that you take a ballot and vote for your favorite piece of art. So any of the members, if you see a guest, please don't hesitate to ask them to see if they voted, got a chance to take a ballot. We will collect the ballots by 1.45 p.m. We will count the votes for the winner of the People's Choice Award, and that will be presented during the award ceremony that will start at 2 o'clock p.m. Members, please make sure that you have signed in for the event today. I invite everyone to take some time to review the educational material on display and the what is passed up on the shelves. A reminder that the gallery is open Wednesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And the last day of the show is November 28th. That's two weeks worth of beautiful art reviewing. We will be closed on Thanksgiving Day. And if you have any questions, please ask. Yes, sir. What day do we pick up the paintings? Good question. I'll get an answer for you soon. <laughs> I'll talk to the exhibition chair about that. I see the plan. Absolutely. I also want to remind everybody that we are having a raffle, that raffle tickets are for sale. Uh, everybody's invited to enjoy the to join in on the raffle and an opportunity to win a couple of great prizes. The more tickets you buy, the more opportunities you have to win, and all the money goes back into our education and promotion for more raffle prizes for the future. So uh, please help us out in that regard. Uh, if you have a business card, if you'd like to go ahead and put that into our business card bowl receptacle, and that there is food and refreshments available. And if anybody would so desire, we would ask for you to contribute to our education fund. And all the money that we collect will go toward more educational opportunities through the PSSC, which is the Pastel Society of Southern California. So everybody, please enjoy. Uh, we have a chance to talk with one another, and we'll talk to you again at 2 o'clock. Thank you. It's 2 o'clock. Do you know where your ballot is? It should be in the ballot box. Let's see. You should be able to see everybody. Yes. Yeah. We are recording. Thank you, Gary. Enjoyed the music very much. Gary. <laughs> well, welcome again. There's a lot more people here now than there was at one o'clock when I made my prior announcements. Okay, and I've been advised to just do them again. I want to welcome everybody here to and thank you for attending our 12th annual membership exhibition gala. Again, this is our first in person exhibition in two years. Do you believe it? And thank you so much for coming out. All the Christians. We are now at the point where the award ceremony will be happening at two o'clock. And at three o'clock, I invite you all to stay and make sure that you see the pastel demonstration by our very own artist, Dory Dewberry, who's over in the corner where there's the big backdrop. And she will be starting her demonstration at three o'clock. And we've just enjoyed a wonderful hour of the music from Gary Wheel. And Gary, again, is the husband of Kathleen, who is our treasurer of the Pastel Society. So 
we try to utilize as much of our uh, connections as possible. Okay, the ballot time is over. If you haven't signed in though, to show that you were here, we do request before you leave that you do sign in so we know that you were here and we'd love to have your email so that we can send you announcements for upcoming shows. And again, a reminder to all the members, please sign in as this is a meeting and we need to have an attendance count. We would like to have your name counted. The show will be available for viewing until November 28th. So that means we have about two weeks left to be able to bring your friends, your families, talk about the art, enjoy the art, purchase the art. We have a lot of red dots available. No caskets, purchase the art. Okay, purchase. I needed that P popper for the microphone. We would like to be able to help support the artists that have spent a lot of time learning how to become an artist, the use of their skills. This is gonna be demonstrated when we have the awards presentation and our gold, silver, and novice categories, honorable mentions, and then of course the People's Choice Award. We would love you to be able to take home your favorite piece of art or pieces of art to put on your walls at home or in your offices. And a small portion of the proceeds from the sales today will go back to the Pastel Society of Southern California, this is this society, and it helps promote further costs for education and promotion of the beautiful art and medium of Pastel. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization and education and presentation is a very big part of our mission of what we want to do for the community. I would like to acknowledge and thank the artists for the artwork and all associate people that came out to support them. And I also want to thank our fabulous screen full of Zoom attendees from all over the world they, have to, they were not able to be with us in person. We have members from our society from all over the world, a lot in other states um, outside of California, and we are a growing society. There's a special thanks to our juror, Jeannie Rosier-Smith, and our judge, Mary Aslin. If you'd like to see uh, a piece of artwork of Jeannie, who jurored the show, uh, over on the easel in the front window is a demonstration piece that Jeannie did at a workshop, a live workshop, which I attended a couple of weeks ago. And the scene that she did was at about 703 photograph that she did at Rat Beach. So it was the waves coming in with the sun just coming up and her interpretation of that scene. And that's how she taught us how to do waves, which is what she's really well known for. I have to give a very special thanks to our sponsors. I want to acknowledge Jonathan. Jonathan, where are you? There he is. Jonathan, raise your hand. Jonathan from Visual Experience Fine Art, otherwise known as Vifa Gallery. Courtney, who is not with us at the moment, the general manager of the Promenade for helping us find this venue. Rio Yamada from Miyako Hybrid Hotel, where you can experience the most fantastic and completely authentic sushi in the South Bay. And it's a great boutique hotel to experience. Now on the table over here in front, please enjoy the special Japanese cookies that were made for us by their chef. And then also thank you to Tom, Tom Hyatt. Raise your hand, Tom. Tom is from the catering department over at our local pavilions for his assistance with the wine, ice, and especially the setup. Tom knew how important our event is to the community and gave us some very special care. And then also a thank you to Margie Murray for your generous donation. Also, thank you to the sponsors for our prizes that are listed on our sponsor display on this wall. The music today was provided by Gary Wheels, and please see Gary and find out more about his music and his music store in Culver City. An immense thank you to the board, a very hardworking board of PSSC, and especially our exhibition chair, Chris Stillians. There you go. Stand up. Hey. And the millions of helpers that made this deserted venue into a gallery. It took a society of fun, art loving people to make this all happen. And in advance, I want to thank you, Dory, over back in the corner for your upcoming demonstration. 
using pastels for us to see her process. And that's a lot more of the education that we do here, folks. With that all said and done, I hand the power mic over to Lynn, past president for the next session of our program. Thank you, Kath. Kath has recently stepped in to be president of our society. She's only the fourth president in the history of our society. And I wanna acknowledge Otto Sturka. And I was hoping he would come today. Otto um, is the president that just stepped down and did wonderful things for our society. Um, the, the president before that, moi, uh, for five years. And before that, Margaret Lindsay for five years, who is now the founder of Destination Art in Torrance. By the way, they're having um, a reception immediately following this. If you'd like to go to Old Torrance to Destination Art, they're having their Lucky Seven exhibition immediately following ours. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the history of our society. 12 years ago, in 2009, three pastel artists, myself, Bonnie Botello, and Margaret Lindsay, met in a pastel class, a beginner class. And we bonded, we went to an international convention of pastel, fell in love with the medium and decided we wanted to found a society because there wasn't one in Southern California, if you could believe it. There were many, many artists here and we founded a society and many of our charter members are here today. If you could raise your hand, please, if you're a charter member of the Pastel Society. I know there's a bunch of them, Bernard, Dave, Mike, there's a bunch of people. And we started with about 25. We've grown now um, to 260 plus artists and they're from all over the South Bay, all over Southern California. And because of the pandemic, guess what? We went Zooming and now we have people from Portugal, Australia, France, yeah. Philippines, China, all over the world. And so we're truly now an international society and we're excited about that. So the reason we founded this society was to create education for artists. We have beginner classes. We bring in the top instructors from all over to do workshops right here in Southern California so we don't have to travel. We attend the International Association of Pastel Societies Convention every two years in Albuquerque, and we just keep learning and growing. And I must say, having been a co-founder and one of the first presidents, when I look around this room, I'm just blown away by how far our members have come. We were all beginners once. And I challenge any of you who are interested in art to join our society and you know take a class, take a workshop, and everybody can do art. My sister says I can only draw stick figures. I think anybody, if you can see and you can draw with a pencil, you can learn how to see shapes and make art and use color. So, come hang out with us. We're like one big family and we don't have any tiers. We don't have any assigned signature artists or anything like that because we want everybody to be learning and growing at their own pace. So everyone is the same here to us in terms of art. Okay, now this is the hard part. I would like to take a moment of silence because we lost four beautiful Pastel Society members in the last year. Some of their families are here with us today. And um, it's very difficult for us to go on without them because each one contributed so much to our societies. Um, I want to say their names and we have a little wall over here with their work and we want to remember them forever. Um, their names are Laureen Barker, Carol Kearns, Gloria Lee, and Fran Nichols. And we will mention each of them by name as we get into the awards because we've named a special award after each one of these very precious people. So if we could just have a moment, moment of silence right now. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to do that. The beauty of art is that art lives on. And it'll be there when we and get there. It will be there when we get there. And um, I lost my own mom two years ago. She was a member of this society, Hazen Fulce, and she did beautiful artwork. And because of her, I'm an artist. And I, I think I can say the same about each of these um, beautiful people that were in our society. 
they inspired so many others in art and shared their art with so many people that that will live on and on and on. So thank you. Okay, we're gonna go on into the awards and um, Chris is gonna announce the winners. Do you want me to talk about Mary Aslan or do you wanna talk about Mary, how she judged and you wanna do that? No, but let me just say one thing. <laughs> then you can talk about it. Okay. Uh, I just wanna thank everybody that helped put this show together. And I want to thank the artists that entered this show. And Mary, when she left the other day, when she was finished judging, as she walked out the door, she said over her shoulder, that was brutal. <laughs> so it, it, it just goes to support the fact, that, and Lynn said it the other day, this is the best show we've ever done to date. So um, we're going to do the awards. And whether you get an award or not, if you have a painting hanging in this show, it's a very important part of what we're doing here. Everything, it just adds to the beauty. So let's do it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and Mary did say that she looked at each piece with three things in mind, the three A's she called it, because of Mary Aslan, I think she picked three A's. <laughs> she said, um, she talked about application, the application of the pastel as number one, the artistry as number two, the design, the drawing skills, the composition, and number three is the aesthetic, which is really difficult because aesthetic means something different to each person. So those are the ways she looks at the art and it allows her to look at each piece more objectively, even though it is subjective when you select a piece, because like you said, everybody's art here is valuable and personal and um, we want everyone to enjoy the art. Okay, so Chris is going to read them off in the categories. And by the way, the categories were self-selected. So we don't say to an artist, you're in gold, silver, or novice, or whatever. We just say, you tell us where you think you are. That's part of our learning process, um, right? But for right. the most part, gold would be professionals um, or people who are instructing in art. Silver, as people say to themselves, I'm an emerging artist. I'm still learning. I'm taking a lot of workshops. I still have a lot to learn. And novice is somebody who might only have done it for maybe one or two years. So those are kind of the general categories, but we let people pick. If they think they're gold, great, you know? And we've got some amazing novices, by the way. It's hard to believe. Okay, Chris. Okay. You want to hold on? Oh. Okay. All right. Okay, in our novice category, we have a first place award to uh, DU. Oh. DU. The novice category is named in memory of Gloria Lee. And Gloria was the pastel teacher that I told you that the co-founders of the society met in her class. And she taught for I think 50 years. I forget how many years she taught. She taught art for 23 years. So we're very grateful. And this is given in glorious memory. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, in our silver category, we have an honorable mention. And this honorable mention goes to. Lisa Martin for Jimi Hendrix. Lisa. Oh, I saw her. Mike, is Lisa Martin here? Was she on the Zoom? Wait, I think she's on the Zoom. <laughs> she's on the Zoom. Lisa, can you hear us? She's right there. You won. <laughs> you won an award. She's from Florida, right? Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. This is a wonderful artist. Uh, she uh, worked at a frame shop that I occasionally work at. 
and she painted in acrylics, kind of a very impressionistic type paintings. And so she saw some of my paintings as I brought them into the frame. Can you guys hear me? Mike, can you hear me? So I, I came to a couple of classes with me at Destination Art, and I gave her a set of this Parisian set of pastels, and she moved to Florida. <laughs> And uh, so I told her to keep at it. And uh, her father was a jazz musician uh, from the 40s and 50s. And he, 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 uh, he played with a uh, very prominent uh, jazz musician. So she knows a lot about jazz. And so I said, why don't you <laughs> And so I convinced her to do portraits. And those two over there, two, two years ago, in the past hour. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is your dad. This is your dad. Want to say something? Yes, I was having a hard time hearing. I could hear some of it, but I am so excited. Thank you guys for having me. Um, Mike has been mentoring to me, and um, I did not even know or realize that pastel was going to actually be one of my mediums. Um, I mean, I've been like in art school since 1980. Well, not since 1982. I'm just telling you the year that I graduated. So it was like really awesome for him to awaken that uh, medium for me. And um, he's been like right there helping me. And, I, you know, I talk to him and if I'm get stuck and whatnot, and I'm so excited. This is like my first, you know, entry and I miss you guys out there in California. Um, and um, thank you, Mike. I'm so grateful to you for, you know, opening up that little box for me. And um, thank you. Thank you. That's what the society is here for. That's a perfect example. Congrats. Okay, moving on. Silver. Another honorable mention. This for Shack 28 goes to Tasha Peterman. And also, she gets a pack of the uh, Canson painting family. Tasha, are you here? I'm on Zoom. Oh, she's on Zoom. Oh, my goodness. Tasha, do you want to say something? It's in my car. <laughs> no, it's very exciting. Thank you. <laughs> I did that for another contest that got canceled after I did all the work for that specific thing for Crystal Cove. Then they canceled the whole thing because it was when COVID hit. So I'm happy it got into a show and actually did something. Yay. That's awesome. Congratulations. Okay, in silver category, third place. Wait, I gotta turn this so I can see you. Oh. Okay. Goes to me for ah, open away. Oh, oh, congratulations. What's that? Can you point to which Well, okay, so after. After we give out the awards, we're going to take a group photo with the artist, and then we ask you to hang your ribbon on your painting, and then stay with your painting to get a picture with the photographer. That way, everybody can see which pieces won the awards. Does that help, okay. Linda? Okay. <laughs> You'll be able to walk around and see them all as, as soon as we're finished. Okay. A silver category, second place, goes to... Four unlikely friends goes to Tasha Peterman. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats, Tasha. Thank you. So we're going to be sending your awards to you all that are not here. Thank you. Right, this is the one I need to talk about. Okay. 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 So this is silver. Silver first, first place award. 
This award is given in memory of Carol Kearns, who was our PSSC treasurer, board member, and beloved artist and friend. I got a chance to get to know Carol very well while she was our treasurer. She was given a phone call and asked if she would consider being treasurer. And of course she said, yes, like she just volunteered and stepped right up. And that was just the way she lived. She was just generous, kind, loving. And I had the privilege of sharing a table with her at a workshop and we shared pastels and we had a really, really good time. And that's how I got to know her. And then when she was treasurer, we worked together to get all the books in order. And um, Carol, we're just forever thankful for what you gave to us, our society. And so this word is named in your memory. Okay, now we're in the gold category. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, first place award goes to Barbara Dumpy, Jack with Oranges. Oh, that's oh, my God. Congratulations. Thank you. Here's Sid. Congratulations. Barbara, smile for the there cameras. Oh. We have our Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> and then the photographer. All right. Okay. So we're going to the gold. Right, gold honorable mention. Okay, he's all flustered because he won an award. <laughs> right here. Okay, in our gold category, honorable mention for Loon Point, Virginia Cami. Okay, so can see you. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job. Okay. Okay. Next on honorable mention of gold. Winter is coming by Mike Ishikawa. It went again. <laughs> Mike, come on up. Come back. You got an award. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> come smell for the Zoomers over here. Congratulations. That's good. Okay, gold third place. Behind the curve, Laura Pollock. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, the East Coast. I don't know if she's zooming with us today. And accepting this award. And accepting this award is me. Good job, Laura. Okay. Second place goal. Oh, Jeff. Yeah. 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 O
Okay. And Fran was a friend to everyone. Fran was our instructor. She did demonstrations for us, and she was a longtime AP art teacher and a longtime um, instructor for us as well. And many, many, many people were inspired by Fran and her work. And so please visit the wall over here to see an example of her work. And we'll miss you, Fran, very, very much. So this is a, a name in her honor, in her memory. Okay, first place gold goes to Sharon Pamali's Tusi, the collector feeding the bird. Best to show, and it is a painting done by Jane Hilton, Durable Road. Jane, are you there? Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm shocked. Oh, put it on your painting so everybody can see it and congrats. Thank it's you wonderful. so much, Lynn. Thank yeah. you. The show is of all the categories, it's what um, the juror just picked to be the top. top. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank now you. We have, um, people's choice. And so, did they just hand me the winner? I did. Oh, that was it. Okay. Well, I'm going to announce the people's choice. <laughs> And this one is named in memory of Lorene Barker, who was our beloved artist friend. And she generously helped with all of our shows, whether it was at the take-in or making gallery tags, um, counting. I remember that she counted the People's Choice ballot, all the ballots at one of our first shows in Manhattan Beach. And Lorene was just always there for us, a wonderful member of our family. And um, we remember her with this People's Choice Award. We'll miss you, Lorene. Okay, um, I have to announce the winner of this one because everyone has voted. And the winner is Chris Dillian. Yeah. Okay, let me present your prize. Hold on. And the People's Choice Prize is a beautiful set of Giro pastels. And I think Michelle Uplin is here today and she is our Giro rep and we love these pastels. You can see them up here, but this is a set of pastels for you to keep on painting. Congratulations. So I, I would like all the artists who received a ribbon to come up here and I guess we're gonna have to Photoshop in our Zoomers. But please um, come up with your ribbon and your prize, and we'd like to get a group photo. And then, as I said, if you could hang your ribbon on your painting so everybody gets to see, and then stand there for a picture with your painting by, by our photographer. Okay, do you want to come over here so everybody can see? Um, you can just stand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We invite you to make sure you get a place over there for the demonstration. Congratulations. I want to get out of the way. Wait, wait. Can you guys show your ribbons? Everybody wants to present. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, Zoomers, hello, congrats, everybody. We're gonna be moving this over to the demonstration area if you wanna stay and watch the demo. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay, what time is it? I'm, I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the reception going on for a little while, but I think the demo starts at three, unless she's gonna start early. So you're welcome to come back at three or just leave your camera on. She may start early since we finished early, but I'm going to move the camera over there. Okay. All right. Okay. Congrats, you guys. Hello, everybody. We have our fabulous Marty, who will be in charge of the selection of the raffle, raffle tickets. So this is your last chance to purchase raffle tickets before we start the drawing. We'll do one every five minutes for the next 15 minutes. We have an assortment of Sennelier, 20 Demi Pastels. And then of course, once you get into pastels, you know that there's one, you know, more than one manufacturer. We've got some units on color botanicals, a set of 18. And then we've got a great Holbein set. So we have three great pastel raffle prizes for they're the lucky winners. Buy your raffle tickets. We just have a few minutes and we'll start the raffle. Hi, guys. I'm going to pause the recording. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hi. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Do you need a microphone? I yell pretty loud, but I might need a microphone. And I won't yell. <laughs> Okay, I'll go get the back. Okay. okay. Start. What did she say she was going to do? Oh, I know. I don't know. Hello. Let's see. Hi. Let's see, but they can't see. That's probably better right there. Can you see better? This is the problem with all the cameras and stuff. Everybody comes in and sits down, and then you have to figure out where the camera goes. So, okay, so I guess I get a mic. Somebody's getting a microphone. I'm getting a microphone. Who's going to put it next to you? Hey, let's see if that, see if that works. Hello. I can move it a little. You actually know. have to be closer to the mic when well, you talk. Be tricky. Oh, and I actually need that to be oh, forward. That's the mic. Sorry. Oh, it's just a thing. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. It doesn't to, uh, so you need to be on top of the mic. Right. You know, gosh, that's not going to be easy. Hello. I think it'll pick up enough. I yell really loud. Okay. It'll pick up. I had three boys. I know. I could do that. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay, I have one hour. So it's a race. <laughs> okay, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Dory Dewberry. I've been a member of the Pastel Society for 
a while. I don't know, eight years. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon. I am going to start my demo in about 30 seconds. I kind of started it at home to get started because I've got one hour. I have no promises of finishing it. I tell you that right up front. But it'll give you an opportunity to see um, process. So what I do, what other artists do, pastel so diverse that you can do a lot of different things. In my case, I started with a, uh, an underpainting with a water-based medium, um, which got a little dingy, but that's okay. So I did this yesterday, so you have an idea of what I'm doing today. This is a guy that's a color, a color I don't know, a color thumbnail in a way. A little more than a color thumbnail. This is my a gray scale. I have a little sketch down here. I did this. The more times you look at your subject and draw your subject and think about your subject and plan for the sub subject, the greater chance you have of getting it somewhat, not necessarily right, it's right for me, it might be right for me, different for you, but of getting it close to what I may want. So let's talk about what do I want? So one of the things, this is, a, this is a favorite place. I like to go hiking. It's called Santiago Oaks. It's in uh, Orange, California. And um, this little pathway leads you to all these little trailheads and things, but it's a peaceful little path. And every time I go there, it looks different because of the different times of year or they cut things down or trim things. So light is different at different times of the year. It is also different at different times of the day. So with that said, how many times can you do a subject? A lot. You can do it over and over and over again because you're always going to look at it differently, which is really fun because then you don't have to go too many places. <laughs> I'm really glad I'm in class. I'm my class. I'm really glad I can look at you guys. Um, so this is about probably 80% in shadow with the light and the focal point being at the end of the trail. Really straightforward face. Nothing double, no double uh, focal points or anything like that. We're just going really simple, leading in, and then that bit of orange is only in the focal area. So just for that. Um, whether this one turns out like that one, I don't know. I always, it's always fun just to do it again and see what happens. Um, so like I said, High percentage in the shadow, smaller percentage in light. So that's talking about value. So less value, more, uh, or less value, less light and more dark values. So light values versus dark values. The other thing is more desaturated colors so more grays versus that bit of orange. And that's why that bit of orange pops along with the fact that there's blues in here, which are compliments on the color group. So all of these things you learn when you take classes. So, um, or you learn them in elementary school. Uh, some of that too. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna just get started. Um, and I can't hold this mic and do this too. So if you ha I have any questions, I guess, ask. I will try and move over to the mic. This is tricky. I like having a lapel mic. Um, and the, the other thing is with um, the fact that there is all this technology and I don't want to drop the mic. Yeah, Whoops. Uh oh, I unplugged the mic. Where's technical people? <laughs> Hello. Oh, there uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to do stand up. Forget about the pain. <laughs> okay. So I actually, I could, I this morning I got out and I thought, oh my God, I can get my pastels ready. And I still really didn't get ready. So I brought two boxes. You can never have enough pastels. Never. Um, clean them so they look actually good to tell what color they are. But I actually have my photo in color down here. Um, it's kind of handy. This is one way of doing it, putting it on the screen. Uh, every time I print it, it loses something. 
So it flattens it out. I like the fact that if I don't, can't see an area, I can zoom in. Although that can get you. So if you zoom in too much, then you're doing all these little details. I don't want to do that either. Okay. Okay. So I've got that down there, hopefully. My head starts spinning around because I'll look at that, I'll look at that, and look at that. And I did weird things in here versus what's there. So here is more like what's going on there. So I am going to start. I lay in my darks first, so anchor pieces. So the trees are my anchors. They're gonna, you know, we need to plant the trees. And I did pull out a few colors because of So I'm just gonna start with, and I keep this little thing over here. Because people always wanna know what color is that? Not that you could tell what color that is, but it's a, it's a really dark purple. So I'm just gonna lay, but actually, but it's never, it's never enough. I'm actually just gonna really like it. These are black. That is actually. Cool. I'm just trying to get, you know, the other thing is getting a tree in that doesn't look like you're in third grade. It's tricky. So. Just getting in some darks. I'm using blue right now, which I don't know if I'll stay with it. It's a, I'm just looking at value for the most part. It's probably jumping off the page a little more than I thought. Trying to keep track of my. I wish I, I. You guys even. Should I yell? I can't. Let's see if I can move this over. I, it's just hard. It's hard to do this. Okay. How close do I need to be to this? I don't know, but if you maybe put it in the side. Yeah. Got that there. And the flash on your feet, but I feel a little closer. Do you have an idea? You look like you have an idea. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. So there's a repeated arcing thing going on, but I kind of like arcing. Is that a word? Arc. It is now. It's now in my book. Yeah. I think it is. And I'm just a. I would like to say I'm trying to create harmony by using the same color in places, but I'm trying to just do speed. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to get some of this stuff going on here. Just establishing, just establishing some darks. I feel like I'm in a nightclub and then the whole crowd of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a twilight zone. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. So I'm kind of looking at this just to try and get my darks established and balance of that. I might go back in and I might look out for this. So just to, so I remember how light I want this to be. So these are called just making uh, color, color or value marks just for a reminder. I'm not going to do that. I just kind of remember what that is. 
other thing I don't want to forget is what I really am attracted to is this bit of orange that's here. And then how it goes up the slope here to here. So I'm going to keep that going and pull that through there. Now, typically, I do work from dark to light, but when I do uh, need to establish things, I don't want to lose it. I have to, I don't break it. So, so there is no set rule. For me, you don't what? There's no, no set rule. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so, this is hard. Um, Sorry. I have yeah. a question if you don't mind. I don't mind. Okay. The image on your um, device, is that, is that what your, that is? My inspiration. Okay, but is that, is that the, is, is that the color of your oh, no. Yeah, but you know, okay, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> Got to go on The, um, so you fall in love with a photo. And what it is, is you, if you look at the photo, photos have very little information in them unless you're a great photographer. You really know how to develop your film, you know how to edit. So basically, photos are the, um, I call them the noun. It's the person, place, or thing. It's what is, it's what you know, it's structure, it's uh, possibly values to know that what's light, what's dark. But, um, but the, real thing that goes on, you can disagree with me on this, the real thing that typically goes on is you have a photo that reminds you of something. And so all, all of that is in here. And we all do this. It's all in here. Some of us are able to do it here. Some of us aren't because they haven't tried it. <laughs> so if you Think about that. You remember things being a vivid red, but your camera doesn't necessarily make it a vivid red. Or you remember the shadows having these beautiful blues and purples and things like that in it, but it doesn't necessarily come across in your camera because your camera has to make choices. It's a machine. They make good choices. It's kind of amazing what we could get, but um, yeah. So I don't know if that actually. I don't know what your question was. No, you showed us the image uh, on your device, yeah. and I thought that's probably what you were aiming for. That's what I'm aiming for, okay. but I'm gonna I'm gonna electrify it. And the reason I asked is because I noticed the one that you're working on is much warmer. You started out with much warmer yeah. underneath. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. That okay. This is what happens in pastel. Is you layer in pastel. So if I started off all cool and was layering, then everything would be really cool. And one of the wonderful things that you look in around at these paintings to be able to see that there's not just warm colors. Cool colors meaning blues, purples, that end of the color wheel, the blue greens, and then the red violets. As you look around and look at any of these pieces in shadow, even though it's still a cool color relative in relationship to each other, one is warmer, one is cooler. So, and it makes it more interesting. It makes it have vibration. Um, oil painting, something to say. It depends on your process, but um, working with an underpainting, layering color on top of it to come up. So in oil, you do the same thing. You work thin to thick. Same basic concept. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> What's your name? Barbara. Barbara. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm good. So the other thing is stepping back. So does it feel, you know, they're these still like third grade trees. I don't know. I just image. I was talking about that. And it takes a bit to get it. There's this little trough down here. This is to collect all the extra powder that comes off of this. And quite a bit comes off. So and I'm working at these are soft pastels. Um, okay. <laughs> So now 
time actually I am adding a little bit of warmth at the edge where the light would be coming through this hillside that's in here down there is in shadow the lights on the other side this was late in the day sun setting over the hill and that's why the light's only catching up in this area this is all be gray the cool color so I also I tend to work I tend to work all over the place. That makes sense. So laying it down. So this is a bit of I would call this a warm green here versus a very soft pastel. I think it's a great American um, versus. Cool greens end up being a little bit of blue. Gray blue greens. The other thing with pastels is you have, I mean, you can buy and buy and buy pastels forever and ever. And you're still not going to have a color that you want or the color that makes it. <laughs> just, they just stick in the pocket. <laughs> Darn. Um, okay, so let me go. So, so right now I'm just trying to build up my value. I want this to be dark, gray down. Um, so I'm going to use here. Oh, uh, these trees in the background. I'm just going to use that value. It doesn't mean that's the right color, but it's just right now. You work down to these little tiny pieces. So that's gonna be gray. So there is a there's a I'm gonna jump around just so you guys can see. So this would be light. Just want to light up the sky before I get into blues or anything like before I get into blues or anything like that. I can light up certain spaces. There's an area up in here. Like I didn't do it in this one, but in the actual photos, there's an area here. And the yellow and green. And there's this area. Uh, could I leave the sky in the background yellow? Yeah. So it's all warm, like in an after painting for the sky. I can't. Is that like putting warm yeah, under where you're going to put the sky so that it's like an underpainting? Yeah. Like later on. And I don't always do that, but in this case, after doing that the first time, it's kind of nice about doing it once. Then you come back and you go, you know, I think I want some more underneath there. So. Oh, it's okay. Oh gosh. Oh, I'll put it up. If I don't remember, just remind me to. I can't tell you. It feels like it feels not bad. I don't know who's this is. It might be a. Um, that's what it is. Okay. There are very few colors I know the name of. I can tell you manufacturers most of the time, but I can't tell you what color. So I'll just stick that up here. It's kind of fun to keep track of what your colors you're using. I 
pause right before right before the path goes into light. Light. Not exactly what I do is just <laughs> I like to work on the side of the pastel. Covers more area. It feels more free to me than being working on the edge like a pencil. Gnarly branches coming through here. I'm going to edit out a number of things. Make a happy tree. A happy tree. Yes. <laughs> happy trees and happy mountains. What are some of the other things you'd say? Yeah. Happy <laughs> trees. Sometimes you go through and then all of a sudden you go, oh, the thing I wanted to keep is gone. It's like watercolor. You can like that too. I had all these colors laid out at home, uh, but they're still all laid out at home. <laughs> and then I'll go back and I'll go, oh, yeah, I just get the same color. Too light. So, see how that popped off? It's too light. So, I have to do some mixing. So, if this is a yellowy green, I'm going to just put it over the top of this area here. Start defining the tree a little bit. So, probably a little bit more warmth in there than I normally would put, but the background and what's underneath is cooler, so that's okay.
So I need to squint to check my shapes. Shapes are a big deal. That little spot there needs to go. So we'll draw the eye over there. I want the eye here and walking up here. So, oh, good. I'm going back for a far away one. <laughs> I'm out of mind. Can't hear anything, so that's always oh, fun. Oh, that's even better. I'm pushing back my hair. I'm old, so much fun. Great, very nice. Thank you. Nice work, Bernard. In the shower. Nice work. Oh, pastel work? Yeah, your pastel work. It's just over there. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. I love it. It's kind of abstract, but it's, but it's real life. Yeah. That's what I like. It saved me duality of the calendar. Yeah. Like. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start playing, putting in a little bit because I like the yellow, but I want to. Oh, no. Okay, so rubbing. I do rub here and there. There are a lot of different approaches you can take. Um, so one could be what how I just applied it without doing anything. Two could be blend, put like this is a lower layer, so blending things in with your finger a little bit, just to get it to melt in a little bit. The other thing is applying alcohol or water to. Uh, because it is a, uh, it's just a pure pigment. You can mix it with water, you can mix it with alcohol, you can grind it up and mix it with an acrylic base. You can do a lot of things with that. Um, they will change different colors. Water and alcohol keep it pretty much the same color as what you start with. But, um, so, yeah. I keep forgetting the bark of this up here. So this caramel color, I really, I like it in the tree. Just lay a little bit down. So it's a little bit darker. Kind of feel that the leaves are somewhat, you know, green, or not, a little bit golden. Thank you. 
I'm trying to keep that in that little area with that bunch of them. <laughs> Sad. Yeah. That was good. I like to put that up. <laughs> she said. <laughs> yeah, so it's starting with one back there. Really important to step away from your work. I I can feel that that light, which is what interested me at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Today I need a hair band. <laughs> okay. So I know I have some vivid dreams. I want to just areas that I catch the light a little bit. The light coming through the trees. I thought I could put all these branches in right today, tonight, but it's whatever it is. Yeah. No, I was gonna say something. Thank you. Speak up. I have ADD. I have a hard time keeping track. I, well, and the, I'm not totally sure. I want it there, but I'm not totally sure. It's just a keep it there. I gave the trees here. <laughs> See, it doesn't happen. Like, I took an art class years and years ago, and I was out. We were doing plein air, and I'm standing there watching the instructor paint this thing, and I'm going, looking at his painting, and I'm looking at the field, looking at his painting, and I'm going, where is that? And he said, well, I put that tree and I moved it over here and I took that bush and I moved it over here. And I said, you can do that? And he said, who is going to stand in this spot and tell me you moved the tree? So, so I can trim the bushes. <laughs> That's what I got out of that lecture. So the gray tones down in here. I want a little bit of warmth coming in here in these places. Wonderful thing about pastel is you can put something down and go, I don't like that. And you can take it away. So compared to what I did there, I'm having a little more fun with color. Because 
I can. It's turning into a fall. It's always good to have a little towel so you can kind of actually see the color. No matter how hard to clean them. So the other thing, like when you don't wipe something, there's really fun little tools for cheap called um, this is just insulation, pipe insulation. It comes from giant things, it's like five bucks. To get you. At least 10 years. Oh. Although I can think it goes. So, so there's a little bit going on here. This is probably more than I want. A wonderful thing about Casto. Uh, Is it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it could be. I know. I, you know, I've always had long hair, so I can tie it back. So I'm not used to this, and I've been wearing hair bands to get it out of my face. I've got hair on here. So. I, I just, just not there. I want to keep those purple and pinks on. Okay, I am going to take a look. This thing is just okay. So, normally, if I was at home, this thing would be right at an eye level, right with where I'm working, so I can see it. What I'm finding is I'm trying to keep track of that, looking down there, looking over here, and it's a 
level trick. But for the most part, for what I've got done right now, I'm okay. This is 7.25 a.m. Ah, I got 10 minutes. That's okay. There's all that stuff going on there. So, okay, when you, while you're doing it, it's like, yeah, and then you walk around and go, yeah. So, uh, The mic. Go for it. Because we're gonna do like the door it. prize. It's one thing. I don't want to touch my that. microphone. No, no. Put Castell on there. You know what's happening? No, I don't want to touch. It. I keep, I keep, I keep talking over here, and then I'll go. Oh yeah, I gotta go. We're just gonna take a brief thirty-second break and announce the winner of the door prize. Hey. So, Nancy, would you like to pick one out? 
I got a ticket here, please. Because I know you you won't cheat. You won't look. <laughs> and the number is the last four numbers are six seven six four. You have it right. That's Congratulations, Maureen. Six, seven, six, six, seven, six, four. You are the big winner. That's not that I don't know. Just your prize. Go see Lynn or somebody. <laughs> I'm not even sure I'm doing this right. Oh, I think it goes in the other way. I don't know. Does it go in the other way? Did you turn it around? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we did turn it around. Ooh. Okay. I'm doing some over there. No, no, right. <laughs> lost my audience. Yeah, no, well, we hate to we're volunteering down at Destination Art. Right? Yeah, I know, that's where I'm supposed to be going. That's why I'm yeah. going to we'll see you right Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.
<laughs> oh, watch out, lady. <laughs> but thank you so much. That's okay. I'm going to have to say it too. I'll be teaching uh, at Destination Art in January. That's in Torrance. No, no, it's. Um, am I a veterinarian? Oh, I don't know. It's um, it's on uh, 213th Street. It's called Destination Art. They have all kinds of art classes that are hybrid. Like, I don't live here, so I don't know. <laughs> I just drive here with, with navigation instructions. It's an old Okay. So. Really interesting. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You I need to take off the very much detail. I need to take off the very much detail. You're so familiar. I am definitely very much detail. But I could have it. It was nice to have you here. Anyway, I'm you know, without rushing. Whatever, that's that's about it. Yes. Um, what can I have? Okay, let's do this. It's never done, but okay. Okay. I mean, how do you? Oh, 
Oh, oh wow, for framing. <laughs> All of these, there is, there's a spacer. So in the edge of the frame, there's a little plastic thing that's in there that keeps the pastel off the glass. Some people do frame it right on the glass. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> well, it, um, there's some notable people that do that because what happens when there's air is um, if you're if you're showing outside and there's heat, you get you get the humidity in there. And I've seen it happen to a couple people now. What is that? It's they get the the heat. Well, you know, it's like a cloud. Yeah, it's a bit of a cloud. Con yeah, condensation. So some people have decided to frame right on the glass. And figuring if it's framed well and sealed in, and it, unless you break it, it's, it's going to be sealed for life. I mean, pastels last centuries. Yeah, I was really surprised when I asked Archie at Abby's in the band, LA Convention Center. There were pastels from the 1400s. Oh my God, goodness. They, they weren't very high. No, but, the, but then think about the pigments they had to deal with back. Yeah. The same thing with oil. Um, it depends. So now there's a lot of man-made synthetic uh, uh, pigments, I guess. Yeah. And so the majority of them, uh, I was supposed to do a thing, Gira paints in um, New York. They deal with all of these paints, like paints on cars and stuff. And But they start with the the granulated base, and then they mix that with any medium to create color. And so they were saying that all of their colors are pretty light, uh, light, uh, not light sensitive, light the opposite of the, the good. Which I like. Um, well, it's this company called Vera Paints, and they're a paint company that distributes to people that make things like pastel or make things like uh, oil paint, things like that. They distribute those things. And they also are the keeper of colors that have been dismissed. Colored out. You don't think about that. Color, apparently there's colors that have been um, removed from the color world or whatever. So they'll have so much of that left and they'll, and they'll buy it up because it, and then they'll keep maintaining it. But they, she was saying, gal that really knowledgeable. If you ever, it's Guerra. It's G U G U E R R A. Guerra paints in New York City. Um, so they're on like, Instagram, which does like, little videos and stuff. And fascinating. You yeah, know. I was reading recently that, I mean, years ago, they used to make a certain glue out of sapphires. Yes. They would grind up the sapphires and they were running, they were afraid. Then it became a precious commodity, and France said, "Oh no, no, no! Right. Find another way to get that color." There's what's the other blue that uh, in, in the head of Nefertiti? Is that a mm -hmm. lapis lazuli? Yeah, there. That is the other blue that many years were made from back in the day. But you know, if you think about what they had two centuries ago, not much. Earth tones. The impressionists are the ones that first. Learn how to mix the paint and, and, and put it in little, you know, tubes and things, and, and so that made it more mobile. But before that, there, you know, all these famous painters that people that came in and mixed the paint before them, like assistants, and so they mixed it all from powdered granules, so you know, like minerals and rock or the stone that they came from. It's a, it's really it, it fascinates me that people watching these videos. That's like I, I would love to learn that science. Yeah. Really interesting, but um, oh, I. Since uh, who, who has, I, I have a hard time hearing, so I can't tell. Oh. You do. Okay. <laughs> oh, how long have you been painting in pastel? Mm -hmm. Um, since about yeah, I'd say two thousand. Before that, I mean, I did in oil for years. And I just always was like. I raised my kids. And, you know, I was in a closet painting t-shirts. You know, whatever I could get my hands on, I realized it was something that was really. Thank you. It was very uh, important for me to stay. You know, that you enjoyed and. Yeah, it, it, it speaks to my heart. I guess I don't know. So, I mean, for years I just played the game. I didn't really do 
I was laughing. I don't finish painting. I thought, oh, that feels familiar. <laughs> but I'll probably finish this. This is really close. Thank you for I doing this. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You'll have finished work. So well then they, you'll do something and you'll over finish it you'll overwork it and people will tell you stop stop which is a good thing so a lot of times you get to this point yes you get some, i'm really in the middle i need some highlights i need some you know i started putting back in my darts but i need to bring up some brilliance you know like in, in there and there it may not be that many strokes, and if I keep doing noodling at it today, I might just noodle it to death. So, yeah, like it's important to know when to give yourself a break. And yeah, yeah, walk away from it. Yeah, so that was a good, you know, always good to do this for people. There's funny little things I'm noticing right now, though. It's like I worked to drop this down. This I had to drop. I dropped it down. But this one's more so centered. Tired. More centered for yeah. that, and you kind of try to avoid that. Although I do like it in that one, yeah, it's just a tree coming down. You know, right, yeah, the feeling. Yeah. It's got a little bit of space, more yeah. space above the ground. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it really depends. Right now, my so, eye I mean, goes right to the center. Don't let reality stand right now. My eye goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I need to clean that up in there a little bit, but yeah, just. Um, I really, really love it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, nice yeah. to share your time with Kellen. You're welcome. Just do the cleaning up. Someone that loves our it's actually the same color. Like putting it back down and cleaning yeah. things up. Uh, yeah. Looking, evaluating your shapes when you're done with you know when you get to a point like like right now it's like oh I could, there's things I could adjust if I needed to. Um, if it was important to you, it has. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Maureen told questions. me. Oh, thanks. Maureen told me I'm a big admirer. Oh, I know. So she told me about this. I thought about doing that. I could have done that too. <laughs> but it's good experience. Yeah, it would be great. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so it keeps me safe. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I can disappear into it. Very nice meeting you. Know, great. It's only Saturday. We still have Sunday. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it seems like it's good. It's good. That was good. Last night was Wednesday? Oh, yeah. Was it Wednesday? Uh, here? Today's Saturday. I know. Okay. Yeah. I can't keep track of time. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Dory, for doing the demo. Oh, it was fun. Yeah.
I don't know. I end up talking to that kind of style. I, I couldn't talk at the same time. Well, I don't know how you do that. there are days I would know how to go here. But, yeah. All right. It worked out okay. Yeah. People, uh, everybody that was watching seen the movies. One of these ladies here was um, Maureen. I mean, I mean, Christine is in my rotary club. What did she say? She was here Wednesday night and she said, I'm coming back. Saturday, because I want to see how this stuff. She had no clue how, how it worked, but she really wanted to see how it was done. She's dark as well. Yeah. Yeah. She was in really nice. attention. Yeah. I, uh, I said, you know, I, they all work here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a medium. So, anyway. So now she has some understanding. Oh, great. Yeah. But that's part of the whole idea watching. for this thing. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. Absolutely. Cool. It's education. All right. Okay, good. Well, good job, Chris. Oh, thanks. Oh, my God. For I people. <laughs> yeah, But I know that my two friends here were just fascinated. Well, they were really sweet. Yeah. They were really sweet. Yeah. So I was telling them, yeah, I'm going to teach you this new show. So, yeah. yeah. So, how are you doing? Yeah, I heard you stepped up or stepped in for a while. I did, I did, and we'll see what happens through January, where we are with the gallery, um, how things are going on with a bunch of other things going on in yeah. life. Yes. Whether I can continue through May, so we'll see. You know, yeah. Until then, we'll just make a decision later. Uh, yeah. It's just, well, thank you. Hey, Joe, no, my pleasure. I'm glad that I was here at the timing. It worked out really well. Well, the other thing, it's really And this great. is what I, see, this I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I, know. I thought you did. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think this is the only thing that I can do. She's still here. Okay. But she's supposed to be pinning her down in March. Yeah, I think so it is. What can I do to help you? I don't know. Say did goodbye they, to Lisa. Did they, did they leave? I don't know. Lisa may have left, but congratulations, Lisa, if you're not there. <laughs> goodbye, you are every, there. are you guys all still there? My battery's almost dead. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Oh, I'm still Alice. here. I was just having a bite, but yes, I'm still here. Beautiful pain. You stay till the very end. You guys are sweet. Yay. <laughs> Congrats, Lisa, on your Alice? award. We'll mail it to you. And Allison, it was great. Allie, great to see you. Oh, we didn't see you. you. Thank yeah, you. Are you guys there? Where are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? <laughs> All right. We did good work, Dory. That was lovely. Did I unmute? Oh, Can you hear me? It's tricky. Oops, My, whoops. All right. Well, we're going to sign off. We're going to clean up. And Thank you. Recording up on the YouTube channel. Okay. All right. All right. And again, it was exciting. And thank you so, so much. Yay. That was fantastic. Yeah, guys. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Auto did a walk around. around. Thank yes. you, guys. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Good time.